Hey guys, Gaming Randoms here. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this fairly short, so I'm not gonna do any gameplay in this video. Um, I just got a uh, Black Ops 3 yesterday. I've only I've played maybe about an hour or so of it, and uh, I figured I'd talk about it because um, there's a uh, for a long time now a uh, a lot of people um, would kind of would kind of just uh, talk trash about Call of Duty. Basically, because just because it was Call of Duty and it was the same thing every year and all that. Um, not saying this is a, a major exception um, to how Call of Duty is, but I will say that uh, I really think this Call of Duty is really good. Um, they they changed some things that I definitely enjoy. Now, mind you, I I haven't played a Call of Duty in at least a good five years. So they may have made changes similar to this in previous Call of Duty titles, but I wouldn't know. Um, but like the specialists, I know the specialists are a new feature, uh, which that is really cool. Like each of these specialists, you um, you can unlock them for multiplayer. You can choose which ability you want to. You uh, each specialist has an ability, and uh, yeah, you can obviously use them in multiplayer. Um, and then I noticed, uh, like, to unlock weapon, uh, new weapons or anything like that, you have to use the unlock tokens that you earn. But, uh, so I guess that's kind of cool. It, I think it gives you a little bit more, um, it gives you a little bit more freedom, uh, with, with unlocking things rather than just, uh, rather than just hitting a certain level and unlocking it that way. I mean, you still have to hit a certain level to unlock some things, um, to have the ability to unlock them, but I, I feel like you, ha you have more choices this way still. Um, uh, there's obviously a ton of score streaks, but that's how Call of, Duty, ah, Call of Duty usually is. I haven't unlocked any others yet. But... Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Um, and then there's the black market. When you're playing black through game. the game, what you want? When you're playing through the game, you'll uh, you'll unlock crypto keys, and um, you can use those crypto keys to buy supply drops in the black market. And these these can give you like skins, things like that. I don't know the full extent of what you can get from the black market. But I know you can get, like, skins and stuff like that. Um, and if you don't want to use crypto keys, you can also purchase um, COD points or Call of Duty points or CP. And then you can buy the rare supplier drops with that, too. Um, I think it's better to just, like, especially for the rare supply drop, I think it's better to just save up 30 crypto keys. Because, like, like I said, I just started. I've only been playing for not even two hours yet, I don't think. And I already have 21 crypto keys. And you only need 30 for a rare supply drop. I just really need 200 CP to unlock the rare supply drop, which that's two dollars. So I mean, you know, a couple hour, a couple hours to unlock um, a supply drop, I think is a lot better than paying two dollars, especially when you're already paying 60 for the game. Um, but, I don't know, it's cool that you have that option, still, for the people that have the extra money to spend and really, really like the game. Um, as far as, like, in the multiplayer, I will say that uh, it plays really smoothly. Like, they've pretty much perfected Call of Duty at this point, which is to be expected because they've been releasing one every single year. But, I mean, the uh, they have wall running, you can use a jetpack. It's, it's almost kind of like they took Titanfall uh, mechanics and mixed it in with Call of Duty. And then just made everything run real smooth and nice. And Yeah, it's all just really smooth. Um, not much else to say about that. It's, it's good. <laughs> um, as much hate as Call of Duty gets, it as far as gunplay goes, it, it, it's probably some of the most fun gunplay in any shooter. Um... But, uh, 
Yeah, anyways, I just figured I'd talk about uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 a little bit because I just got it, and I'm actually really impressed by it, which I honestly never thought I would say about a Call of Duty game uh, ever again. But, who knows? I guess anything is possible after um, playing a little bit of this game. But yeah, I'm definitely going to play quite a bit more of it. I enjoy it. I'm not good at it yet, but, uh, yeah, I'll probably, uh, I'll definitely play more of it. Anyways, guys, um, this is Gaming Randoms, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.